Hello everyone. As we still ourselves and rest in the quiet of these few minutes, we're going to look at a story in real life. About a ship that was built over a hundred years ago. And this huge ship was called the Titanic. In the year 1912, the Titanic was the largest man-made movable object ever constructed. An enormous vessel. History tells us that the Titanic was on its maiden voyage the first time that it went to sea when the tragedy of its sinking happened. The Titanic set sail from Southampton, England, travelling to New York City in America. There were 2,224 passengers on board including some of the richest people in the world. There were three classes of passengers. There were first class, second and third, from the richest to the poorest, and they certainly didn't mix. Most of the hundreds of the poorest were immigrants and they were from Europe, seeking a new life in North America. The conditions of the third-class passengers were very cramped and the treatment was not fair or equal. Fortunately, things are changing, are they? Four days into the crossing, the Titanic hit an iceberg at 11.40pm. The collision caused the Titanic's hull to buckle. It hit the iceberg. And if you've seen the movie, you'll know some of the stories of heroism and great courage in the face of this fearful tragedy. It sank off the coast of Newfoundland in the Atlantic Ocean. This amazing ship had had many advanced safety features, but there were not enough lifeboats to accommodate all those on board. Only 1,178 people could be carried on these lifeboats. No one ever imagined that lifeboats would be needed. The giant ship at 2.20 in the morning broke apart and sank with over a thousand people still on board. Before this, the passengers and some crew members were evacuated into these lifeboats, which were launched, some of them only partly loaded. Over 1,500 drowned in this tragedy, and it was marked in history. The accounts of survivors told of great bravery and courage, and of one man in particular. The true hero of the Titanic, Harold Lowe. He helped scores of women and children into lifeboats and he was the only officer to go back for survivors after that famous liner sank. Heroes inspire us to do better in little things as well as big. Harold Lowe had the courage to do the right thing. I wonder, can we find the courage to act with bravery, overcome our fear at home and at school? I wonder. How can we continue to grow as a Saint Fryswide superhero?